back another cold day here in Vincennes, Indiana with today's temperature at 36 degrees. Today's high at 38. Today's low at 24. Northwest winds 10 miles per hour. The humidity at 70 percent and the barometric pressure 30.36 and steady. Let's take a look at our local area condition. It looks like Carlisle, Bicknell, Princeton and even Robinson, Illinois is all experiencing overcast skies. Car Carlisle at 34 degrees, Bicknell at 36 degrees, Princeton at 37 degrees and Robinson, Illinois at 34 degrees. Let's take a look at our national temperature map. It looks like in the New England area, temperatures are in their 20s through their 40s. And in honor of Black History Month, Bridgeport, Massachusetts is throwing a Black History Month film festival. Now south of the New England area, temperatures are in their 50s down through their 70s with Myrtle Beach at 62 degrees and Miami, Florida at 71. For the northern and central plains and even the southern plains, cooler temperatures in the teens up into the 60s with Bismarck, North Dakota at 25 degrees and Lincoln, Nebraska at 21 degrees and Corpus Christi, Texas at 58 degrees. Now for the West, pretty normal temperatures in the 30s up into the 60s with Portland, Oregon at 42 degrees and Sacramento, California at 45. Let's take a look what's going on across the United States. Not much going on. We do have a couple of high pressure systems up in the West, but there are a few scattered showers and even some snow flurries in Washington and Oregon. We do have a trough of low pressure, not causing much precipitation, but these high pressures up in the northern, central, and even southern plains are bringing in some clear and dry conditions for both us, but we are expecting some precipitation. Let's take a look at what's going on in our forecast. Well, my friend Will was asking me what was tonight going to be like. Well, here it is. Cloudy skies, northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with a low of 24. Then for tomorrow, sunny skies, west winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with a high of 42. For tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies, southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour with a low of 28. Then for our extended forecast, it looks like Friday, partly sunny at a high of 44 and a low of 21. Saturday, mostly sunny at a high of 29 and a low of 18. Then for Sunday, sunny skies at a high of 32 and a low of 20. So we will see if any snow ends up falling on, <laughs> falling on us on Friday, Jesse. Oh, I'll pass on that. But thanks, Danny. The VU Trailblazers are riding high after pulling off a stunning upset last night. Mitch Columbia's in now for a look at sports. Mitch. That's right, Jesse. The Blazers had to work as a team to beat third-ranked Indian Hills. I'll tell you all about it when New Center 22 continues. Celebrate automotive excellence as MotorWeek presents the 2012 Driver's Choice Awards. Whether it's hauling the family in comfort, hitting the town in style, plugging in to the cutting edge, or putting the pedal to the metal, find out which rides take the checkered flag this year. Join us for the Driver's Choice Awards only on MotorWeek. America's musical home front is jumping. Throughout World War II, popular music provided emotional solace and patriotic inspiration to Americans at home and abroad. With big bands and movie stars joining forces to entertain the troops. Come with me on my journey through the era of big bands, USO shows, V-discs, and war bond rallies. In Best Band in the Land, episode two of Michael Feinstein's American Songbook. Blazers got their payback. Good evening, everyone, for WVUT Sports. I'm Mitch Columbia. The fifth-ranked VU Trailblazers earned their biggest victory of the season Tuesday night, beating number three Indian Hills 86-79 in the PE Complex. The game was tight throughout and saw more than 20 lead changes. Deshaun Delaney was a factor down the stretch, scoring on a dunk to extend VU's lead to 77-273 and knocking down free throws to keep the Warriors at bay. Delaney finished with 27 points while Ronald Ross led VU with 28. The victory avenged an 11-point loss at Indian Hills back on January 3rd. VU will be at home again Saturday when South Suburban comes to the PE Complex for a 3 p.m. game. In girls high school sectional action last night, Lauren Herman scored 18 points to help lead Vincennes Reve past Shoals 67-42 at the Class A Bar Reef sectional. 
The victory sets up a highly anticipated rematch between the third-ranked Lady Patriots and the host Lady Vikings Friday night. Bar Reeve edged Reve by a single point at Holscher Gym just a couple of weeks ago. North Davies also advanced with a 28-19 win over Washington Catholic. The Lady Cougars play Ligoti in Friday's other semifinal. At the Class 2A sectional at Bloomfield, the North Knox Lady Warriors defeated Linton 39-22. The victory puts the Lady Warriors into the semifinals against Bloomfield on Friday night. Action at Bloomfield continues this evening with Eastern Green taking on North Central while defending sectional champ South Knox plays Sullivan in the nightcap. In top 25 college hoops last night, William Buford scored 29 points to lead third-ranked Ohio State past Purdue 87-84 in Columbus. Buford scored 21 points in the second half to carry the Buckeyes while All-American Jared Sullinger and point guard Aaron Kraft were on the bench with foul trouble. DJ Bird had a career best 24 for the Boilermakers. Purdue was coming off a loss at home to Indiana. Top ranked Kentucky matched their best start in league play since 2005 as they demolished seventh ranked Florida 78 to 57 in Lexington on Tuesday. The Wildcats were led by freshman Michael Kidd Gilchrist who had a double double scoring 13 points and pulling down 13 rebounds. Kenny Boynton led the Gators with 18 points, but the team with the nation's most three-pointers this season went 6 of 27 from behind the arc and shot 34% overall from the field. In the NBA last night, the Indiana Pacers blew a 21-point lead, but recovered in time to edge the Utah Jazz 104-99. Darren Collison led Indiana with a season-high 25 points. Roy Hibbert had a double-double with 17 points and 10 rebounds. Paul Millsap led the Jazz with 18. The Pacers improved to 17 and 7 on the season, heading to a matchup at Atlanta this evening. Boston Celtics captain Paul Pierce passed Larry Bird to move into second place on the franchise's list of all-time leading scorers during Tuesday night's 94-84 win over the Charlotte Bobcats at TD Garden. Pierce buried a three-pointer from the right wing with 10:23 to go in the third quarter to move past Bird who scored 21,791 points during his career. Only John Havlicek has scored more in team history with over 26,000 points. The New York Giants were given a hero's welcome back to the Big Apple on Tuesday following their Super Bowl win. Almost a million fans lined the streets for a ticker tape parade to honor the team. The Giants made a stop at City Hall for a ceremony and then finished the trip at MetLife Stadium where 30,000 fans were on hand to honor the team. Giants coach Tom Coughlin told the crowd about a special phone conversation he had while riding in the parade. I had the honor of speaking to President Obama as we traveled over here this morning. He was very gracious. Uh, he, was, he praised our football team. He praised our mental toughness, our resiliency, our leadership, uh, the great ability that this team possessed to finish, to win so many games in the fourth quarter. But the key thing was to keep, to remember this, that all things are possible for those who believe. We always believed, we always knew we could get here. We had to put it together and it's a great, great credit to the coaches who did a magnificent job and to our players. Thank you. The Giants defeated the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 46 for their fourth world championship. After 11 seasons, NFL running back Ricky Williams has announced his retirement. The former Heisman Trophy winner played 11 seasons in the league and rushed for over 10,000 yards, only the, 26th running, only the 26th running back to accomplish that feat. Williams retired from the NFL once before in 2004 while he was facing a four-game suspension for violating the league's banned substances policy. Williams assumed a backup role with the Baltimore Ravens last season. Finally in sports, it's time for our play of the day. It comes courtesy of last night's Purdue-Ohio State game as we pick up the first half highlights. The Boilers are down by one when Kelsey Barlow, here he is, barrels down the lane and hold on for that one. Throws down the emphatic dunk over Ohio State All-American Jared, Jared Sullinger. You might want to check that out again. Ohio State would get the win, but Barlow takes our play of the day rightfully so. We're, we're going to stop it there for today, Jesse. That is enough. Thanks, Mitch. Have a good evening. New Center 22 will be right back after this. Stay with us.
A popular rock band has turned a car into a vehicle for making music. Forget transportation. They're trying to transport the listener into appreciating music produced in a whole new way. Jeannie Most reports. Why just play the car radio when you can play the car? I've been waiting for miles, waiting for years. It's so unusual we had to make up a name for it. Drive by what? I, it, I guess it's drive by rock and roll is what it is. Rock and roll on over 1,100 homemade instruments like glass jars and pipes. The group OK Go has gone and done it again after making music videos on treadmills. And with a dozen leaping dogs. And with a Rube Goldberg contraption big enough to fill a warehouse. Now OK Go is going on the road. So I've been sitting around. Lead singer Damien Coulash says it took four months of prep and four days of shooting in the California desert on a two-mile track in a car that deployed seven arms. If you're off by a little bit, you just rip the arms off the car. I mean, we broke, we broke dozens of those arms. His fellow band members turned levers to deploy the arms, arms that tickled the ivories on 55 pianos. Each piano, we had to tune the bottom half of it down to one note so that no matter where you hit it, you'd get the same note. I've been waiting for Damien had to take a stunt driving course. So he says the tricky part wasn't driving fast, it was driving at the perfect speed. The guitar solo is about 42, um, which doesn't sound like much, but on an unpaved road on the edge of a cliff with some turns in it, it's, it's scary. Did he say guitar solo? <laughs> The guitars were played with a fishing rod. 288 guitars with four of their six strings removed. Chevrolet paid for the project and gave OK Go total creative freedom, as well as the new Chevy Sonic. In exchange, Chevy got to use OK Go's material in a commercial that first aired on the Super Bowl. The car even ran over hoses that blew air into tubas. To commemorate the video, OK Go is selling car air fresheners with their faces on them. Each guy is a different scent. I think I might be new car smell. I hope I'm new car smell. New car smell? New car smell with a top note of dusty guitar. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York. That's all we have for you this evening. For Danny Taborn and Mitch Columbia, I'm Jesse Gwynn. Have a good evening. This is WVUT Vincennes. Welcome to our program tonight, a conversation with Prince Alwaleed Ben.